I met Charlene about 20 years ago. She was student of the month. I went to her high school graduation, and I think I saw the potential then. And to look at Charlene, she's put together, she's professional, she's articulate, and she's respected. On the outside, it looks like this girl's got it together, and you know, what does she have to worry about? But it's just not that simple. It's, it's hard to see somebody have to fight so hard. I mean, I'm not saying that things have to come easy in life for people, but she fights really hard. So even though I have this full-time career, it's, it's still a struggle. It's still hard to make ends meet. I'm a divorced mom of two boys, uh, ages 10 and seven. They live with me full-time. My 10-year-old son has special needs. He's more demanding and he needs more than just your average kid. I had worked full-time in the banking industry due to the birth of our second child. Daycare costs exceeded what my salary was, so I quit my job to become a stay-at-home mom. When the divorce occurred, that created an extreme hardship. My parents tapped into their resources, and it was just too much. Too many months had gone by. I, st I had to start putting a lot of bills on credit cards, um, whether it was the water bill, phone bills, I had to watch my car, it towed away. It wasn't a path I wanted to go down, but I had no choice. So when I was offered the position where I am now, it was the light at the end of the tunnel for me. I love helping other people. It's the, it's the way I can provide for my kids, for my family. And it's, it's a job that, makes you feel good at the end of the day because you know you're making a difference. Being able to put your child to college and own a home and own a vehicle and have health insurance and be sustainable. That's the American dream. It's much more difficult than I think most people think. So now I'm faced with moving my family. After receiving a sheriff's notice, the bank will most likely take the house back. You can't keep a family of three a float on, on my salary alone. The boys have only ever known this house as theirs. My little guy is more upset about it than the older one. He doesn't want to change his bus stop. I am rooting for Charlene. I believe in Charlene. I think it's circumstance. That's why she is where she is today. But if we as a society change circumstance and change environment to support one another, that I think we can make those moves. No one does anything alone or in isolation. And what one does impacts somebody else. If we don't discuss this and we don't talk about it and we don't raise the awareness, it's never gonna change. I believe that that's what creates opportunity. And if, if I have to give a voice, if I have to give a face, then I'm willing to do that because I am Alice.